all right guys back at it it's christmas eve so man happy christmas eve to everybody merry christmas um welcome to the central homeowner channel i am today I, <clears throat> i'm not going to get too much done because it's the holiday of course and the wife would probably shoot me but uh i intend to get this final two by six in here for this beam uh, and possibly uh get the the beam set up this cross beam set up for these floor joists so i'll show you what we're going to do um and if you have any questions let me know okay guys bring you back here so i've got the final uh two by six in so that's now three ply beam uh you'll see i put in the uh, structural screws um I did not put those in all the way down as though I was doing a glue lamb, but you'll see I've got my my nails in there as a supplement. Um, toenail that corner in up under the house. And that's up under the bathroom, actually. And then, again, we're splitting the center. Um, the only board of the three that is not split in the center is the outside board. And that is longer to your left. And, uh, and then it's a shorter piece. It's split about right here, going the other direction. And the same on that side, got the uh, structural screws in. You can see some there with the tag hanging off. And then of course, nailing between them. Uh, and now I'm moving on to, to getting the, the little four by four in. The four by four is cut and I'm just digging the pier. I'm not putting concrete in these since this is just uh, additional support for this floor um but I, I, I haven't decided yet i still might put concrete in the bottom of them uh if i do it's got to be about three inches thick so i have to dig down more but that's currently you know roughly level um if you can see that bubble in there you can get a good look at it with that glare so and then on top of that we'll sit this 8 by 8 by 12 and then the 4 by 4 on top of that and then that will be the mid span for these floor joists i'm not doing full length floor joists i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do floor joists to this span so i'm thinking i still might put concrete in there but uh haven't decided yet um, and then once I get this in place, I will lower the, the house, although I might still do that today. Um, we'll see. I, I haven't decided yet. My, not that there's going to be an issue, but if there was, um, <laughs> I'd rather not be on Christmas Eve. Um, kind of ruin the Christmas there. Um, so what I might do actually is. Uh, I would like to get a floor joist in just to make sure that this holds a uh, square um, before I lower. Um, and then, but I, what I won't do, well, I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. Because I have to make sure that the uh, floor joists are level to the house, and I can't do that while it's up in the air. So, um,. Yeah, I might just go ahead and lower it and go from there. Uh, I will keep you updated. All right, so that's about it for today. I've got the uh, the post in place. Of course, the beam's fully up. I did pull the I did pull the screw jacks down, so that wall is fully sitting on the on the uh, the new beam now. Um, the whole thing, there's no support at all other than the blocks. Um, I've got this new block in. I just poured concrete, high, some high strength concrete under that base. Got it all leveled up. Slightly, slightly high on this side, but nothing that we can't, can't uh, block for. Day after Christmas, I'll put another one in here and then the four by four goes on that. And then the new, um, new floor joists go in. So I uh, want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and hope you guys uh, and your family enjoy your time and that Santa brings you everything you want <laughs> and we will talk to you later.
dabei.